the second problem here. We first set up our horizontal asymptote. Is there any horizontal shift inside our function? No. So we're going to set that up. So our vertical asymptote is y or is x equals zero. Okay, and now we can look at our key points. Okay, so the key points are going to be the value of x that gives you a zero in, or gives you a one inside here. So that's going to be a one, right? And so when you look at this, just looking at this, four to what power equals one? So when x is one, this log four of one is zero, plus four gives you what output corresponds to in input of one? Four. Okay, and our second key point is the value that makes the, our input equal to b. So our b value is four, what value of x gives you a four in the input? Four. And log four of four has an overall value of one. When the input is the same as the base, it has a value of one. So one plus four gives you five. So there's your two key points. If you plot these, one, four, and four, five, this gives you your general form, which again, you see is gonna approach the asymptote. And that would be your sketch. So our range is all real numbers for log. And the domain is limited here from our uh, asymptote zero all the way to infinity.